Hi, everybody. Well, everybody always says the exact same thing when you talk about the large cruise ships, like the Icon of the Seas or an Oasis class cruise ship. They're too big. They just seem way too crowded. Oh, they're just too crowded. I don't know, because I've been on some smaller ships lately and they feel much more crowded than I ever felt on the Icon of the Seas. So that's usually the first thing you hear, right? When people are talking about the mega cruise ships, like the Icon, that it's, it's just too big. Oh, I like the smaller ships. They feel less crowded. You can get away from it all. There's more room to move, move around, etc. And, uh, you know, there's no big, huge lineups and you, you feel like you can get away to things a lot easier. Well, I've been now on the Icon of the Seas. I've been on pretty much all the Oasis class, except uh, I think I haven't been on Symphony yet and I haven't been on the new Utopia yet, but I've been on all the other Oasis class cruise ships. So I have a pretty fair knowledge of the size of these ships and the crowds, etc. And then I've been on smaller ships, for instance, like the, the Island Princess and the, or the Caribbean Princess, the Emerald Princess, the smaller ships like that. Some of the Norwegian smaller ships, I've been on them. And I've been on Cunard smaller ships. I've been on MSC smaller ships. And quite frankly, um, as the, it, the cruises now have picked up since the, the pandemic in 2020 and more people are cruising now, I'm finding that the smaller ships feel much more crowded, much more crowded. For instance, the Caribbean Princess we were just on has felt more crowded than it's ever felt to me before. Um, you know, much longer lineups for disembarkation than I felt before when I was on her. Uh, the theater crowds are just jam-packed, standing room only in the theater. People are standing up in the aisles. That's how crowded every show is. Not just the first show, both shows that they're showing. Um, hard to get dining reservations for specialty dining uh, on a 16-night cruise. A 16-night cruise, and I was only able to get two specialty dining on the, on the entire trip. So... They, they did feel much more crowded to me. Now, when I was on, the, what they do on the Icon and the Oasis class is because they have those neighborhoods, they will have shows going on and entertainment going on that draw people to each show. So they'll have an ice skating show. At the same time, they'll have the diving show on the Oasis class and they'll have you know, so figure skating, diving, and then they'll have the Broadway shows or entertainment in the theater as well. So there's like three big events going on in the ship that draws everybody to those events and they'll have them multiple times each night. Plus they'll have the live entertainment. Plus they'll have, you know, movies under the stars. Plus they'll have, you know, all the various different, like, multi, like 27 dining venues on board that you can choose from. There's just so much to do. Uh, then throw in the pools, throw in the flow riders, etc. There's non-stop things to do for people on the ship. Where when you go on the smaller ships, they have much less to do. So you have the game shows, you have the theater shows, and then the odd thing like trivia going on. But because, you know, pretty much the same staff running the game shows is running the trivia, they tend to be, you know, one after another, which means everybody packs into the area and then they're, they're there. And now new people coming to the second event can't get in because people are already sitting there waiting because they know this is where everything's happening now. So it can feel much more crowded. Also the smaller ships, much less dining options, right? Much less choice when it comes to like your buffet, for instance. Uh, the icon, I'm sorry, uh, like... I felt this time that the Caribbean Princess Buffet was a bit of a letdown. Like I did not get a lot of choices on the ship. It just seemed to be the same thing almost every single night. 
it was even hard like to find a place to get a potato in the buffet. Uh, it, it was kind of odd to me. But you go on an Iclon or an Oasis class ship or even a Celebrity Edge class ship or even Princess's Sun Princess ship. The buffets are huge, comparatively speaking, with much more options out there and spread out where they have two full gigantic areas open with all the same food on it, but there's so much space to get around that it does not feel like your line, like that little buffet in the Caribbean Princess, boy, if you went up there at lunch, there were people just jammed in there trying to get the food and then try and find a place to sit. It was crazy. Well, I haven't had that issue on Oasis. I haven't had that issue on the Icon. There's lots of seating and there's lots of space to get around for food. It just seemed to go faster because the big ships are made for large, large crowds. And the smaller ships tend to be the older designs right now. That's why I'm really excited when I heard Royal Caribbean is thinking on building a, a class ship around 25 to 2600 passengers because it will be a new design where they can take in the features that they have built into the large ships and say, here's how we spread crowds out, right? Here's how we do things. Even Princess Cruise Line has learned that, you know, the Piazza is a big central point for their cruises. They hold a lot of games in there. They have tri you know, trivia events sometimes in there. They'll have entertainment in there sometimes. So what they've done, for instance, you go from the Caribbean Princess and then you go to one of the Royal class ships, Royal Princess, Regal Princess, Majestic. Well, the Piazza is much, much larger because the ship's larger and it doesn't feel as crowded. It doesn't feel as cramped. You feel more space. Then you get on the Sun Princess and the Piazza is even larger. So they know, you know, when they build the new ships, they take all this into account. The older ships are kind of like the learning process. This is how it works. But now, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. People are keep on saying the exact same thing all the time when they look at the large ships, but they usually haven't been on the large ships. They haven't experienced what it's actually like on board. And that was one of them. My first things I ever did when I first stepped on the allure of the seas was my first Oasis class ship that I got on. And I was amazed how well they separated the crowds. That at no time did I feel super crowded. You would feel with, you know, 6,000 passengers on board that if you walk through Central Park area on the ship, that there would be hundreds of people in there at any given time. And in all honesty, you might come across 15 to 20 on any given day. Uh, it, unless there's an entertainment thing going on, it's, you, know, you might see people eating in the outdoor area where there's some tables set up out in the park area. But as far as sitting and walking through, it's very limited. And it's, you know, people walk through and just enjoy it. They're moving to other areas of the ship. It does not feel as crowded. So when you hear people say, oh, I'm not going on that ship because it's definitely too crowded. Um, I, right now, I find the smaller ships to be much more confining and much feel much more crowded.